Dear students, welcome to Kalarva Tutorials Chitradurga. I am happy to uh, inform you uh, about Kalarva Tutorials. If you want any uh, extra information, call these numbers. So, in this uh, Kalarva Tutorials, uh, there are some classes are uh, online classes are going on. Uh, at uh, first, uh, the NMMS uh, online classes were going on from August 2022 for this year, and the classes are running up to uh, December uh, 2022 and uh, there is another class for SSLC student that is started from uh, uh, December 20, uh, 2022 in this year that is a online crash course uh, that is reputation course uh, for SSLC maths science and uh, social subject please inform this to the 10th standard students dear students we have to solve this question we observe this question in a competitive exams here they given that they given a figure here how many triangles are there in the figure so we have to find out the number of total number of triangles in this one so for easy method i will show you a easy way for find out the number of triangles here you write 1 2 3 4 there are four triangles are there so for finding the total number of triangles you have to add these two 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 1 10 triangles. So there are 10 triangles in this figure. So there is another method to find out the, this one also. Here there are 4 triangles are there. You there. have to take the next number that is 5. After 4 that comes 5. So you have to multiply the 4 by 5. 4 into 5 that is equal to 20. You have to divide this by 2. You have to half of that one that is equal to 10 triangles. So this is the two methods we have to find out the number of triangles in this diagram. Thank you. Dear students, see here, in, the, in, the, in this uh, diagram they given that how many triangles are. We have to find out the number of triangles in this one. So for finding the number of triangles it is not possible to count there because there is the shortage of time in the competitive exams. So we have to easily find out the number of triangles. You know, the, there is a trick is there. So you observe here. So here the common uh, numbers are there 1, 2, 3. There are 3 numbers are there. So you have to add this one. 1 plus 2 plus 3. 3 plus 2, 5 plus 5 plus 1. That is 6 is there. So then you have to count the number of parts here. Here this one is 1, this is 2, 3, 4 parts are there. So didn't add that one. So you have to take the number of parts only. There are 4 parts are there. So you have to multiply this number to the 4 parts. 6 into 4. 6 4 is 24. So therefore there are total 24 triangles are there. So this is the easy method to find out the number of triangles. There is a, within a short time we have to find out the number of triangles. Okay, thank you. Dear students. So we have to find out the number of triangles in this diagram. So this is a question from the competitive exam. So here you observe there are 5 parts are there in this one. So in the base you have to take the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the easy method to find out the number of triangles. We so have to add these numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So that gives you 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 3, 12, 12 plus 2, 14, 14 plus 1, 15. So you have to put this 15. And take, uh, count the number of parts here. 1, 2, 3. There are 3 parts are there. You have to take the number of parts. 3 is there. So you have to multiply this 15 by 3. That is number of parts. So 14 into 15 into 3 that gives you 45. There are 45 triangles are there. So there is another method is to find out, here it is 5, you have to take the next number of 5, next number of 5 is 6, you have to take this one, 5 into 6 divided by 2, 5 into 6, the next number of 5, after the 5 it gives you 6, 5 into 6 divided by 2, 2 1s are 2 3s are, that gives you 50, 5 into 3, 15 into the 3 parts are there, you have to multiply it with that one, that gives you 45 triangles are there. This is the easy method to find out the number of triangles. Very shortly, we have to find out the number of triangles. Okay, thank you. Dear students, in the competitive exams, they ask how many triangles in this di diagram or find the number of triangles here. 
so here yeah, we have to find for counting there are so many uh, much time is for uh, counting the triangles so there is a easy method to find out the uh, number of triangles here so i will show you in the previous video that is uh, if the tri parts are completely closed by the lines so uh, we have to take the number of here 1 2 3 4 and number of parts we have to add these uh, numbers and multiply the parts number but here the parts are here you observe there is no continuous line here it was cut and here also it has no continuous line there is so it is an irregular diagram for this irregular diagram we have to change the method to find out the number of triangles here i show you in the first line you count the numbers 1 2 3 4 so in the base of the triangle there are four numbers are so you have to add this one 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so that gives you 10 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 that gives you 10 so then you have to go to the next line in this line also you have to count the numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 here also you have to add this one so you get how many there are 10 that means here 10 triangles here 10 triangles then you go to the next step next step also you get 1 2 3 there is no part here so you have to take only 3 1 plus 2 plus 3 1 plus 2 plus 3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 1 6 you get 6 triangles so in this part you take in this part 1 and 2 only so you have to there are only 3 triangles in that one and there is another part is there here 1 and 2 and also you have to add 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3 so now we have to add all the number of the triangles 10 plus 10 20 26 26 plus 3 29 29 plus 3 there are 32 so here in this diagram there are 32 triangles are there so this is the easy method to find out the number of triangles when they given the irregular diagrams like this so this is the easy method you have to find easily the number of triangles okay thank you here we have to find out the number of triangles in this diagram so we have to take here 1 2 3 4 here there are four numbers so we take n is equal to 4 here there is a formula is there we have to write that formula n into n plus 2 into 2n plus 1 divided by 8 we have to apply this formula here n is equal to 4 we substitute the value of n 4 into 4 plus 2 into 4 to the 8 plus 1 divided by 8 here it gives 4 into 4 plus 2 6 into 8 plus 1 9 divided by 8 here 4 ones are 4 4 2 is 8 2 ones are 2 2 3 is 6 here 9 into 3 into 1 that is equal to 9 3 is 27 therefore there are 27 triangles are there in this figure here we have to find out the number of triangles in this diagram here we count 1 2 3 4 triangles are there inside this there are triangles are 4 and the diagonals you have to count there are two diagonals are there there are two diagonals are there so therefore the total number of triangles is 4 into 2 that is 8 triangles in this diagram so you have to consider this one here the same type of diagrams are two are there here the, in the first diagram there are eight triangles in the second diagram there are eight triangles that means here eight into two that is equal to sixteen but other triangles are there here there is a common side is there you have to take this common side you have to take two triangles extra so that is a sixteen plus two that gives you eighteen triangles so where we get these eighteen triangles means here you observe there are this this is one triangle and this is another triangle there are two triangles are extra this diagram we have to find out the number of triangles in the one diagram you consider these one two three four triangles are there and there are two diagonals are there that means four into two eight in this one there are eight triangles and here eight and here eight there are eight into three that is equal to 24 triangles are there 
so now there are common side this one is common side for these two and this is the common side for these two we have to consider one more two triangles 2 into 2 so that is equal to 4 totally 28 triangles are there here for common side we consider this triangle triangle this one and also here this one these two are the triangles for the common side here we consider this one this is 8 triangles 8 8 and 8 8 into 4, 8 4 is 32, 32 triangles, here 2, 2, 2, so this means 2 into 3, that is equal to 6, totally 38 triangles are there. In this, in this diagram, we have to find out the number of triangles. In first diagram, 1, 2, 3, 4, there are 4 triangles are there and there are 2 diagonals are there. That means 4 into 2, that is 8 triangles in this first diagram and this one also 8 and this one also 8. That means here 8 3 is 24 triangles are there. And in these two uh, squares have the common side here. For the common side there are 2 triangles. One, Two, two triangles and for this common two side also there are two triangles 2 into 2 that is equal to four triangles are there and another one we have to consider there is another triangle is there you observe there this one is the longest triangle is this one so you have to consider one more triangle so this is one triangle 24 28 1 29 there are 29 triangles are there in this diagram here we have to find out the number of triangles in this one. So in the first diagram, 1, 2, 3, 4 triangles are there, 2 diagonals are there, 4 into 2 that is equal to 8. In this diagram there are 8 triangles, 8 and 8 and 8. There are 8 into 4 that is equal to 32 triangles are there. Here you have to observe this one, in between these two squares there is one triangle and here there is one triangle that means there are two triangles in between these two squares and here also there are two here also there are two so therefore, therefore two into three two three is a six triangles are there so here you have to observe some more triangles are there this one is here we have to write this triangle is one of this one and another triangle is there here i take there are two triangles and some more that is a bigger one this triangle is there there are three triangles are extra so we have to add this one this gives you totally 41 triangles are there in this one diagram in this diagram you have to point out the number of triangles here in this uh, one diagram one two three four triangles are there four and two diagonals are there 4 into 2 that is equal to 8 triangles in this one. Here 8, here 8, here 8 and here 8 that becomes 8 4 so 32 triangles are there. And in this one here you observe this is the one triangle and this is the another triangle. If the common side in between these two squares there are two triangles are and here the common side there are two triangles are there. Here two triangles, here two triangles that means 2 into 4 total 8 triangles are there. And one more triangle is there. Here you observe this one this is the biggest one and opposite that one there are two triangles and here this is another biggest triangle in the opposite there are two totally four triangles are there so here we have to add this one 8 plus 4 12 plus 2 that is 14 14 that means for 44 triangles are so here we have to find out the number of triangles in this figure so for finding the number of triangles in this figure we have to apply a formula 4n plus 1 that means the triangles embedded inside the triangle here there are only one triangle is embedded inside this one so here n is equal to 1 4 into 1 plus 1 4 on the 4 plus 1 that is equal to 5 in this figure there are 5 triangles are there here we have to apply the same formula for this also 4n plus 1 you count the embedded triangles here this one one triangle and two triangle there are three triangles are embedded inside the triangle so that is n is equal to 3 here we have to substitute the value of n as 3 that means 4 3 is a 12 12 plus 1 that is equal to 13 there are 13 triangles are in this figure we have to apply this formula for these type of triangles. Find out the number of triangles in this diagram. 
So here in this diagram you identify this one. For this one we have to apply the formula 4n plus 1. Here the triangles embedded inside the bigger triangle. Here there are two triangles are embedded in this one. That means n is equal to 2. We have to apply here 4 into 2 plus 1. 4 to 8 plus 1. That is equal to total triangles in this one is 9 triangles. Here there are inside this there are 9 triangles. You observe here there are two triangles are there. Here there are two triangles. Here there are two triangles. And inside this also there are two two triangles are there. Totally six types are there. So we have to take the air two into six twelve triangles. So that means twelve plus nine there are twenty one triangles in this diagram. This diagram we have to find out the number of triangles. So you consider in this diagram, this is one of the diagram inside this one. So for this one we have to apply the formula 4n plus 1. Because the embedded triangle in this diagram is one, tri one uh, triangle is there. Therefore here n is, n is equal to 1. So here we have to substitute the value of n. 4 into 1, 4 plus 1 that is equal to 5. So in this diagram for this one there are 5 triangles are there. And here you observe there are 2 triangles here, 3, 4, 5, 6, there are 6 triangles are there. So by adding this one we get the total number of triangles is 11 triangles are there.